so excited for Carrie and it's the Big River Running High School Boys Championship Mile. And that's our pacer, 144, 800 meter runner, Eric Sawinski. And from Valor Christian in Colorado, hit 15, Dane Ike From Hatboro Horsham, Pennsylvania, wearing hit 14, Brian DeCola. From the infamous Newberry Park, California, where in hip 13 is Braden Seymour. From Bishop Blanchett High School in Seattle, Washington, wearing hip 12, Vincent Recupero. And from Iowa City, Iowa, 407 miler, wearing hip 11, Ford Washburn. From Shawnee Mission East in Kansas, 405 miler, Wyatt Houghton. From St. Andrews Episcopal in Maryland, New Balance the Indoor National 800 champ in 148, Tenota Matsada. From Trinity, Wichita Trinity Academy, a 404 miler, Clay Shively. From Dowling Catholic High School in Iowa, New Balance Indoor 1600 meter winner over Devin Kipiego. And second in the 3200, it's none other than Connor Burns, it's Jackson Heidish. Utah 3,200 and 1,600 and 800 meter champion from Orem High School, Taysen Echo Hawk. And from Rhode Island, second at New Balance Indoors to Jackson Heidish and ran 403 just last weekend. It's Devin Kip Yego. From Newberry Park, another one from California is a four flat miler, it's Aaron Salmon. A Wake Forest commit and 359 miler from Christ School in North Carolina. PBs this year in the, of 150, 834 and 359, it's Rocky Hansen. The eight 3,200 meter, 834. He's undefeated this outdoor season. Fourth in the 1,600 behind Jackson and Devin at New Balance Nationals. And it's from Rapid City, Stevens in South Dakota, Simeon Birnbaum, and your local favorite, the Missourian, who just won the state championship in the 1,600 and 3,200. Recently broke the 5K national record running 1337, ran sub four here last year from Southern Boone County High School in Missouri. 358 miler, Connor Burns. Whew, this race is gonna be awesome and a big surprise to see Aaron Salmon actually lining up. You know, we just saw on his Instagram that his knee is not good, but it must be okay. He said he had a torn IT band and he's here so best wishes to him and fun to see Eric Swinski pacing these guys a bronze medalist in the 800 he's a 144 guy he's like one of the best ever pacing and fun for these guys to be able to line up behind him absolutely and Eric a friend of mine and somebody that I raced against many times in my career and and he's still out here and and coming down from his uh, his professional pacing duties and racing duties to come and help out these athletes chase some history and they're off and you know that he's been asked to run 58 second through quarters and they've got some big big thoughts in mind of what they think they might be able to accomplish yeah they're trying to go after that Alan Webb Alan Webb's record from 2001 353 everybody this is gonna be a quick race and no fear from Connor Burns going out with Swinski right off the bat. Salmon trying to lock in on him. And Burns just ready to go with it. 
And this pace is strung out well, and that's what a great pacer does in Sawinski. So Sawinski out front, Burns second. Salman, you see moving up on the outside of the sunglasses, Simeon Burnbaum. Tucked in, hip for Salman. On the rail, Burnbaum now moving on to Burns' hip. 59 seconds through the quarter. And Swinski well, really Burnbaum has this field just perfectly of, strung out. Burnbaum's coming off of a great two mile where he ran 834, but Connor Burns too is coming off of that great 5,000 where he set the national record running 1337 and then let Lex Young win and, and beat that last weekend running 1334. But they have these great bases right now. They are so strong. And yet we know that these two can run so fast. I mean, there's three guys in this race that have gone under four minutes already and many of them that are knocking at that door. Well, Burns and Burnbaum both getting after it. Burnbaum hasn't been beat this outdoor season. Sawinski still up at the front as your pacer. We see Salman drop out at the back of the pack there. But Burns still hanging in with it. They're out and the pace is strong still. 159 through the halfway mark. So always expect to see, especially in races when it's high schoolers chasing these times, you want to run even and then start picking it up on the back half. And they're getting exactly what they were asking for. Swinski peeking over his shoulder, making sure that they're still there before he pulls the trigger at all here. And Burns still with him. We've got Burns, Burnbaum, Heidish. And the crowd really starting to get into it, Kerry. Well, Heidish had such a phenomenal indoor season where he went one and two at the New Balance Indoor Games, and he is just so good at racing. And that's the one thing, you've got to watch him right now. He's been kind of laying back, letting the work be done in front of him. But he looks good, and this is what he did indoors. He let the races kind of go, and then when he made the move, he made a really decisive one, and here he goes. And Burnball clicking his move after Heidish takes the lead. Burns drops back into fourth. Burnball now, though, Heidish able to cover that move, and Burns trying to stick with him. And it's Burnbaum, Heidish down the back stretch. Hansen. Burnbaum has such great range from 800 all the way up to that 5K, and he is so strong right now with 200 to go. Heidish, though, right on his shoulder. And Satsa sitting in fourth, trying to see if he can call on a kick with 150 to go, but Birnbaum just pouring it on. Birnbaum, Hansen now challenging, Matsatsa, Simeon Birnbaum pulling away from the field. It's gonna be Simeon Birnbaum. He's your winner at the Hoka Festival of Miles. Simeon Birnbaum, what a move from 400 meters out to take the lead and then hold on to it to get the win and dip well under the four minute barrier. You know Birnbaum, he does have so much strength when it comes to racing. And he also is not afraid to be that cool kid wearing his sunglasses, whether it's indoors or outdoors. 357.53, they went for it. 353 would have been a, a tough ask, but look at that, well under the four minute bi mile barrier. Last year we saw two guys go under. This year was just equally as exciting. And here is.